Hello and welcome back on the channel with Galaxy 50 again. Seems that this Galaxy 50 it's a great phone, but in the same time seems to have some problems. So I did a few videos months, months ago about the common problems for this Galaxy A50 and today I decide to do another video with the most common problem for Galaxy phone, especially Galaxy A50. So I did ask you on that recent poll what kind of problems can I choose uh, to make a new video and you decide to do um, the logo stuck at boot and we're gonna see how to to do that apps not downloading from a google play or maybe app crash and slow performance sudden shutdown and uh, access data if your phone touch screen is not working so today I've been choosing uh, this um, common problems for Galaxy A50 and let's say for Samsung Galaxy stuck boot logo after the update. So this is happened right after we install an update or third party firmware through the recovery mode. The update can be an official one that device install automatically or maybe applying it manually. Whatever be the case, getting stuck on the boot logo or random reboots problem it's really frustrating so in order to do that i've been using the recovery mode so let's say your update came automatically on the phone you can always go on software update download and install the phone is going to check automatically for updates and it's going to install the latest one so my latest update it's been installed on 6 october 2019 and doesn't bring too much is more about the security so the security of your device has been improved so what we can do if the samsung galaxy logo is stuck so we're gonna turn off the phone first turn off okay we're just gonna leave it at the moment that's it it's vibrating now and now press and hold the volume up and the power button at the same time okay release the buttons once the samsung logo appears so i just release the buttons and then we're gonna go on recovery mode okay so you can see the recovery mode is on uh, samsung galaxy a50 at this moment now again with the buttons uh, volume up and down you can navigate through the menu see that's it all right and you can select the wipe cache data wipe see right here wipe cache partition so you can select this one and press the button um, the power button uh, once and it's gonna wipe the cache partition and then reboot your phone the next thing you can do is also perform a factory reset. So up to the wipe caching partition, you can see the wipe data factory reset. You can do also uh, this one, but um, on this time, if your phone is resetting, you may need to enter the Google account information. So email address and password uh, associated with this phone in order to be able to use it again. So. If you perform this action, you're going to reset the whole phone and you may fix that uh, logo that has been stuck on the screen. I'm not going to select any wipe cache data or any factory reset on my phone because I got no problems on this moment. And I just want to show you how you can do it for your Galaxy A50 if that logo is still stuck on the screen. So on this moment, you can navigate with the volume buttons. And I'm just gonna type it once, press it once on the power button, and I'm just gonna only reset my phone. So it's rebooting on this time. So this is how you can fix that logo stuck on your screen. How to fix apps not downloading from a Play Store on Galaxy 50. So first go to the settings on the Samsung Galaxy 50 and clear update of the app Play Store. So we're just going to go on the settings, we are going to go on the apps, we're going to look for Google Play Store in a minute, okay, 
going down, 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 down. Google Play Services. You can see we got this one here. Also, you can clear the cache once here. It's all clear now. It's on zero. And then you have to clear local search history from a Play Store app. So we're going to go on the Play Store, on the settings, and you've got clear local search history. You just need to press once on that, and it's going to clear all the history. And let me show you that. See, I got already a search on a Google app, Hot UKDL. So going back on the settings, on a clear local search history, I'm just going to press once. That's it, it doesn't show up anything. But if I'm going back on here, you can see the search is clear now. So we got uh, no more options. So on this moment, you may be able to download again any apps and games on your Galaxy A50. So have a try and see if it's working. Okay, how to access data if your phone touchscreen is not working on Samsung Galaxy A50? More I'm just going to explain about this. So first, you just need to connect your phone to a computer or a laptop via the USB Type-C cable and you can access your data from the PC. So with that cable that's coming, you can plug in on this USB Type-C port and then connect it to a laptop. And even if it's the screen off, you can access your data from the computer. You can save all your pictures, songs and so on. Then, if you want to use some apps on the Samsung Galaxy A50, get an OTG cable and wireless keyboard and mouse. Connect the OTG cable to the phone and connect also the wireless receiver to the cable. You can access your phone just like on a computer. How to fix sudden app crash on Samsung Galaxy A50? Well, first, go on Samsung Galaxy A50 on the settings, on the apps, and then click on the app which is crashing frequently and clear its data. So let's say we can go on, the, um, I don't know what apps we can choose from here. Not camera, camera, camera. Well, anyway, let's say this one. So in order to make this app to work properly, we're just going to go on a storage. We're going to clear the cache here. Yeah. We're just going to go clear. Now it's on zero. And then second, you install the app and install it again from the Play Store. So if it's still not working, you can uninstall from here. And then you can install it again from the Play Store. And third, just update the app from the Play Store. Maybe a new update for this app is going to make the app working even better. So try this and see if it's working. How to fix sudden shutdown in Samsung Galaxy A50? First of all, if you encounter this issue, then you may want to take care of the heating issue as well. As if the phone temperature rises up to the maximum level, then you can face this issue. And I got these problems with the Galaxy A5. The phone is not working anymore and I can't do anything about it. While I connect the USB cable to the port, uh, the phone gets very hot and I'm afraid that is going to explode in my hand. So I just have to unplug the USB cable and that's it. The phone is dead. You may need to change the port also. Second, charge the phone fully and let the battery drain until the phone is completely shut down on its own. This is, again, much important. Lastly, you can perform a factory reset on the Samsung Galaxy A15. And I did show you before how you can do a factory reset. Or let's say if the phone is stuck and you cannot use it, you can always use that um, power off and the volume up in order to go on that recovery mode. And then you can simply just uh, reset your phone or wipe the cache again. Do not restore the backup thereafter, instead manually restore your data. So these are only a few common problems uh, that you can have on your Galaxy A50. Next I'm going to do a little bit uh, more common problems probably on the next video with these issues that is affecting the Galaxy A50. 
So I don't know if this are going to help you at least maybe one or two of you is going to be very helpful for you. So um, thank you for watching this video. Give it a like, share. If you got any more questions, just leave it on the sections and I'm going to try to find even more common problems for Galaxy A50. So thank you again for watching and uh, see you again soon with another video.